Type 1 hypersensitivity occurs in the following steps. The first step is presentation of antigen to CD4 positive T cells by antigen presenting cells. In this scene, we can see an antigen that is denoted with yellow color. It is taken up by an antigen presenting cell that is called dendritic cells. Antigen presenting cells include macrophages, dendritic cells, and B lymphocytes. As we can see, this particular antigen presenting cell, called dendritic cell, after taking the antigen, will process the antigen and then it will present the antigen with the help of MHC class 2 molecule on its surface. The dendritic cell will take this antigen to present it to the naive T cell or CD4 positive T cell. Only some of the environmental antigens will evoke strong T helper to response and serve as allergens. In response to this antigen and also due to locally produced cytokines like interleukin-4, CD4 positive T cell will differentiate into T helper 2 cells. T helper 2 cells can produce interleukin-4, interleukin-13 and interleukin-5. Interleukin-4 can stimulate class switching of immunoglobulin E. Interleukin-13 can enhance immunoglobulin E production. Interleukin-5 has role in development and activation of eosinophils. When the same antigen is presented to T helper 2 cell with the help of B lymphocyte, interleukin-4 that was released from T helper 2 cell will result in class switching to immunoglobulin E in these B lymphocytes. Normally, B lymphocytes produce immunoglobulin M, but upon stimulation of interleukin-4, they will class switch and begin to produce immunoglobulin E. Ultimately, they will be differentiated into immunoglobulin E secreting plasma cells. Note that plasma cells have eccentric nucleus. The secreted antibodies will now go to the mast cell and there they will bind to the surface of mast cell since the mast cell has receptors for the FC portion of immunoglobulin E. The receptor is called FC epsilon R1 receptor. The immunoglobulin E coated mast cells are called sensitized because they are sensitive to the next encounter of the same specific antigen. During subsequent exposure to the same antigen, multivalent antigens will bind and form cross linkage between the adjacent immunoglobulin E antibodies. Such cross linking will cause the underlying FC epsilon R1 receptors to come in close contact and that will result in activation of signal transduction pathway. The signals will evoke production of mediators of immediate hypersensitivity and also they will induce events that will cause late phase reactions. Mediators of immediate hypersensitivity will include preformed mediators, lipid mediators, and cytokines. Preformed mediators will include vasoactive amines like histamine and also enzymes like neutral proteases and acid hydrolases. Lipid mediators will include arachidonic acid derived products, and cytokines will include. TNF or tumor necrosis factor, interleukin-1, and chemokines. These mediators are responsible for the manifestations of immediate hypersensitivity reactions and they may include edema, mucus secretion, smooth muscle spasm, etc. Cytokines, including chemokines, are responsible for recruiting additional leukocytes and those inflammatory cells are responsible for epithelial cell damage by releasing additional cytokines.